In this video, you are going to learn about how to find the domain and range of exponential functions. It is the same idea and process that you learned when you did linear functions, but now we are doing this with curves as opposed to lines. So it says find the domain and range of the graphs below. Remember that your domain are your x values from left to right and your range are your y values from the bottom of your graph to the top of your graph. If you think back to earlier, we learned that this capital R with an extra line is the mathematical symbol for all real numbers. So let's see what we can do on this first example. We want to find the domain. The domain are my x values from left to right. So this is the left side and this is the right side. My graph is going to the left forever. I know that because there is an arrow there. So because it is going to the left forever, my domain is going to negative infinity. My graph is going to the right forever. I know that because there is an arrow there. If it keeps going to the right forever, that's going to end up at positive infinity. So my domain from left to right is from negative infinity to positive infinity, which is the same thing as saying all real numbers. Again, this symbol is a capital R with an extra line. Your range is your y values from the bottom of your graph to the top of your graph. So this is the bottom of my graph and this is the top. The bottom of my graph is my asthmatope. My asthmatope is right here. My asthmatope is going through where y equals zero. Because this is where y is zero. The top of my graph, well, my graph is pointing up forever. So that is going to positive infinity. So my range is from zero to positive infinity. Zero gets a parenthesis because our asthmatope is a dashed line. Our asthmatope is not included. When something is not included, it gets a parenthesis. Infinity always gets a uh, parenthesis because we can never get there. We can keep counting up forever, but we will never get to infinity. So our range is from zero to infinity. We could also write this as an inequality. We can see here that our curve is above our asthmatope. Whenever your curve is above your asthmatope, it will be y is greater than your asthmatope. So you'll take your equation for your asthmatope and you will make it greater than whenever the curve is above that line. Whenever you are looking at the domain of an exponential function, your domain will always be all real numbers. Every single time, as long as you have arrows on either end. Your range will always be either from your asthmatope to infinity, or if it's a reflection, it will be from, um, from negative infinity to your asthmatope. Let's look at another example. On this one, we want to find the domain. Our domain are our x values from left to right. Here's the left side of my graph. Here's the right side of my graph. My graph is going to the left forever. Here, my x values are going to get more and more negative. So that's going to negative infinity. My graph is going to the right forever. Here, my x values are going to get more and more positive. So that's going to positive infinity. So my domain from left to right is from negative infinity to positive infinity, which is the same thing as saying all real numbers. Your range are your y values 
from the bottom of your graph to the top of your graph. The bottom of my graph is my asthmatope. My asthmatope here is where y equals 2 because this is where y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can keep going. This is where y is 2. My graph is going up forever, so that's going to infinity. So my range from the bottom of my graph to the top of my graph is from 2 to infinity. My curve is above my asthmatope. So that means that this is going to be y is greater than my asthmatope. Let's try another one. On example three, your domain are your x values from left to right. Here's the left side of my graph and the right side of my graph. My graph is going to the left forever. That, is my, that means that my x's are going to keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's going to negative infinity. My graph is going to the right forever. Here my x values are going to get more and more positive. So that's going to positive infinity. So my domain from left to right is from negative infinity to positive infinity, which is the same thing as all real numbers. Your range is your y values from the bottom of your graph to the top of your graph. The bottom of my graph is pointing down forever. That is going to negative infinity. The top of my graph is my asthmatope. My asthmatope is where y equals, well, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So my range from the bottom of my graph to the top of my graph is from negative infinity to 8. Here, my curve is below my asthmatope. When your curve is below the asthmatope, that is when you will have less than. So here, y is less than your asthmatope. Again, the difference is if your curve is above the asthmatope, it's greater than. And if your curve is below your asthmatope, then it's less than. On the last one, your domain are your x values from left to right. My graph is going to the left forever, so that's going to negative infinity. My graph is going to the right forever, so that's going to positive infinity. So my domain from left to right is from negative infinity to positive infinity, which is the same thing as all real numbers. My range is my y values from the bottom of my graph to the top of my graph. My graph is pointing down forever, so that's going to negative infinity. The top of my graph is my asthmatope. That is where y is 6. So my range from the bottom of my graph to the top of my graph is from negative infinity to 6. Here, my curve is below my asthmatope, so as an inequality, that would be y is less than 6.